you guys see this? Three days after the election, they've got the needed to win 70 electoral ballots. Biden's got 264, Trump's got 214. These were different yesterday. These yesterday was one of them, I don't know which one, was for Biden and the rest for Trump. Well, all of a sudden, they've changed around. And Biden from 253 votes is up to 264. He needs six for 270. All of a sudden, this guy going to come from behind. I guarantee it. This is going to change because these votes aren't totaled yet. These are just estimates. And from what they've got in right now, that will make the difference of what's going on. Uh, and all of a sudden, you're going to see it. This guy is on the verge of probably 264, 267. And this guy's going to jump in and go 273, 272. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. This guy's not going to win, I don't think. I would think that this guy would win because of his 264. But because of the, the election is so biased and so corrupted that this is not going to happen. It's not going to make a difference because it's already pre pretended that these two guys are going to do what they're going through right now. I would like to see this guy in because I think this guy is bad for the police state. He wants more police. He wants umpteen police. He wants the most police you can ever get in a police state. He wants more. And if he can get more than that, he'll do more than that because he is nothing but a police state. And that guy right there is not as much a police state. I don't know basically what he is because he is, I don't know. Ten years older than Donald. Ten years older than Trump, but he's not. But it's a Democrat. I don't know what I want to believe, but it hurts me that Trump is taking the police state, and I am totally on the side of stop killing people by shooting them in the back. I watched the video. Good cop, bad cop. Yesterday, bad cop, no donut that said that a guy came out and was going kind of knuckaroon. He's walking around with a knife in his hand and walking up a side street with a knife in his hand and the cop said, stop. The guy was 50, 60 feet away from him. Boom, 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 boom. 13, 15 shots in a guy. Two cops, I think, were telling him to stop. Hit him in the knees. Do something with his kneecaps or something and blow him out when he can't do anything. But Jesus, then you over and you jump on the fucking guy for half an hour and kill him anyway. My fucking word, cop. Stop being so fucking brutal. All you gotta do is Trump. Sign a fucking law that says don't be so brutal. No. Nope. Trump won't do it. It's not that he's been told to or asked to or, you know... Trump, mend your ways. No, fuck that shit. I'm going to kill at random. I don't do what I have to do. If I wanted these fucking patrols to go up here in Minneapolis and kill people because, oh, wait a minute. That's right. We set up a pallet of bricks. we got to keep an eye on it and make sure those people grab as many bricks as they can to destroy all those. Minneapolis people, protesters, and a line of cops. Who guarded the buildings that got beat the fucking shit out of? Nobody. If the cops will stand behind the corporations and the businesses, why weren't they standing in front of the businesses and holding the violent protesters at bay instead of the protesters that were there to protest calmly and, well, maybe there's a couple out. Sure, there's some people that kind of eh, get overboard. But you and I know it and everybody else knows it. That if you don't incite trouble, you're not going to get trouble. And this is what happened in Minneapolis. This is, I think the cops incited the trouble by doing as they did. 
acting as they did. You get the troops out there, more people. What are they doing? They're not. They're not doing anything to the people that are over there breaking in the windows. They're stopping those guys in line from protesting, and they're beating the shit out of those kids. And hey, I'm here just to say that my government is screwing me over. My goodness, I'm not doing anything except protesting. Well, those guys over there are fucking breaking in the windows, and you're part of the group. No, I'm not. Wow. Have I been on this video all day or what? Yeah, the world is crazy, and since I've been watching it, it's been crazier than ever. What do I need here? Ketchup, mustard. No, ketchup. Mayonnaise. Bun. Hang on, people. I'm getting myself ready here. Kitty! Addy! Yeah, I'm a bun, too. I'm going to go all out today. I'm going to get a bun. Should I toast it? Just a bun. Ooh, need more of that. Yes, yeah, just a bun. I'm not. Ooh, wow. You see that? This is the this is the bottom. And this is the top. Yeah, it's like three inches difference. <laughs> Get a chair. Hello? Alright, never mind. Alright, uh, uh, what? Hello? Yeah, I wanted to say something, but didn't. Alright, Mel, baby, Mel. Ooh. This was a burger from yesterday I did in the cast iron. That cast iron pan is amazing. Totally amazing cast iron pan. Almost like the grill. I should say it is the grill. Alright, let me put a burger here. Yeah, what I did yesterday was, uh, oh, this morning I had a burger. And I put the same stuff on in my burger. I like lettuce and tomato when I go out. But not when I'm home. I like the uh, ketchup and mayo. And some pepper. Sprinkle on that. You know, kind of this kind of pepper. Yeah, I like that kind of pepper. So what I'll do is I'll put this burger off this baby right there on that bottom pad. Scrape up the cheese. Hang on, hang on. I'll get you there. Scrape up the cheese. Hang on. Yeah, you know that cheese is melted. Good me, right? I can put that on the bottom. Doesn't matter. What do I do with this? Well, I tell you, it's a good thing I'm fucked up because I wouldn't act like this if I wasn't. I got a bottle too. And I got some chips. Salt, less salted chips. Yeah, I'm getting the munchies too, so. No. Six months ago, I would have said to myself, so, don't eat too much because you got ice cream later. 
I haven't had ice cream in, yeah, six months. Sharon bought these, a set of these knives. They are Pampered Chef. And she bought one of these about oh, four or five years ago. And that thing has cut like a razor. A razor for the past four or five years. And so, come to find out, she bought... She bought another one. Came in two weeks ago. Yep. Came in two weeks ago. This might be it. I don't know. There was two of them up there. And I went to clean the knife, and instead of pulling it through the towel to dry it, I had it where the sharpness side was on the sharpness side. Hang on. I didn't get the chips, did I? When the sharpness side was on my side. And, uh, well, you know, I cut myself. <laughs> I cut my thumb. These are light chips. So, uh, we're all set. You know, I can, I can eat four or five pounds of chips and be all set because they're low salt. There we go. Grab a napkin. Set. There we go, peoples. Oop, I don't need that. I need to shut this one off. Okay, hang on. I might have to. Uh... Hmm. Can you see the floor? God, these freaking politicians. Oh, these freaking politicians. Get the f out. Bunch of freaking crooks. You get in office, you steal from us, you lie to us, you don't give us exactly what we would like. You're just totally out of the personnel, or I should say the people's voice. Nope, my turn. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so you didn't see none of that. I, I'm kind of looking at this right now. i dark, but what the hell. I'm eating in the dark. I don't care. See that, what I said earlier? Trump, Biden, 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 Trump, Biden. Before it was Trump, Trump, Biden, Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh, well. Let's see what happens here. Going to be a decisive vote right to the end. So here's where the campaign is at this point. They do believe that they are going to win North Carolina. They believe that the president is going to be on for a win at the Tar Heel State. They also still believe that there is a chance to, to this well, is Fox. overturn because we've called Arizona. But for the president to win Arizona, 39,000 votes separate the two. That margin has been steadily narrowing, and the Trump campaign believes that there are still enough votes given the percentage in the split. They the believe. Vote. They believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the purpose of the media, we believe. Becoming resigned to the idea that Georgia and Pennsylvania are gone. Uh, so now it's up to huh, okay. uh, recount. We expect uh, that recount. the next couple of days there's going to be a call, and then it's up to them to duke it out in court. Jesus Christ uh, almighty. The court system, the court system, they can't vote for their assholes and let we get the court system to make the decision. Oh, I already know what the damn answer is. You guys are corrupt mother... Then you just don't give a shit. Metal. Uh, 